गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट लाइसोजेनिक साइकिल एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो अ वायरस व्हेन एंटर्स अ होस्ट सेल और होस्ट बॉडी इट कैन फॉलो वन ऑफ द टू पाथ्स द फर्स्ट पाथ इज लाइटिक साइकिल and the second is lysogenic cycle let's talk about lysogenic cycle today so here is the four step this is the bacterial cell or you can say this is the host cell and here it has the chromosome this is the bacterial chromosome and here is our virus this is the bacterio fudge which attacks bacteria and this bacterio fudge has two parts it has the dna and it has the protein coat which surrounds the dna now the first step is attachment here the fudge attaches itself to the surface of this host cell surface means you can say this is the plasma membrane okay and then it is the next step that is penetration here the bacteriophage injects its dna into the host cell through the plasma membrane so one thing you have to notice here the bacteriophage or the virus will not insert its protein coat but only the dna will be inserted inside the cell next what will happen the next step is the phage dna will be inserted into the host chromosome and this time we will call this host chromosome prophage why prophage because the viral or the phage dna is now inserted in the bacterial chromosome okay so what they will do now actually this viral dna will not do any harm immediately so it will be remained as it is inside the host chromosome and the host cell will undergo cell division so we can see that from one cell two cells are now produced and in these two cells the prophage is maintained that means the viral dna is maintained inside the host chromosomal dna because when the host cell copies itself or you can say when the host cell replicates itself it copies the prophage too in this way these two new cells will now undergo many more cell division and many new cells will be generated and in this way the prophage will also be replicated so at some point the viral dna will now be excised from the chromosome and it will become active now so what will happen then so the viral dna contains some genes and those genes will encode some enzymes nuclease enzyme is one of them or you can say it is the endonuclease so this endonuclease enzyme will cleave the bacterial chromosome 
So the bacterial chromosome is now fragmented or you can say it is now degraded. What will happen then? Then the replication, transcription and translation machinery of the host cell will be hijacked by the virus. What does that mean? Actually there are many proteins, many enzymes which help in the replication, transcription, translation of bacterial chromosome. But bacterial chromosome is now degraded. So those proteins, enzymes will now help in the biosynthesis of phage DNA and phage proteins because those enzymes are now associated with the replication, transcription and translation of viral DNA. So you can see many viral DNA are now generated, many viral proteins are now generated and the next step is their assembly. Assembly of viral DNA and viral protein will occur. So here we can see that viral DNA are now inserted inside the viral protein coat. And the last step is lysis. Here the bacteria will be ruptured and those virus particles, phage particles will now come out of the bacterial cell and they will seek out new host cells to inject. That means the lytic cycle is occurring in the lysogenic cycle too. But first few cases are unique in this lysogenic cycle where the viral DNA is inserted inside the bacterial chromosome and becomes prophage and the bacterial cell undergoes cell division and replication of prophage. So till this part is unique in lysogenic cycle and after that the steps are common in lytic cycle and lysogenic cycle. Hope you understood my lecture.